The film begins with a character named Emma looking out her window at a cat. She hadn't shown any emotion in this position and declined to save the cat, even if it was drowning in the water. She was living with her father, and at the time, she was having breakfast with him. Her aunt pays her a visit and talks to her about getting a new caregiver after her previous caregiver was in an accident with an unknown cause. Now that Emma's aunt has found a new caregiver for her, she informs them of the deceased cat while they are conversing. Her father was removing the dead cat from the pond at the time, and she appeared to be in a state of grief. Her new caregiver was being interviewed by her father, who hired her after observing her manners. Emma had applied for new citizenship to obtain this medal. She was behaving perfectly with each person in her school. She was playing with some kids when a girl struck her, but she supported that girl. She also practiced her smile at home. It was award day, so her father makes her put on a pretty dress and takes her to the school where many parents had come to watch the ceremony. The teacher announces here that Milo has won the Medal of Citizenship. Speaking of Milo, she not only tells her father that he did not deserve this medal, but also apologizes to her father for her behavior. She takes Milo to a cliff, and after some time, Milo says he wants to go home, at which point the scene cuts. When his parents visit Emma, they inquire about their son Milo and report that they haven't seen him anywhere. She responds, I haven't seen him in a while. Then, some girls shout for assistance as they approach the cliff. When they finally catch up with the girls, Milo's parents see that their son had drowned and died. He received CPR from a teammate as well, but he was already dead. The following morning, Emma's father asks her how she is handling her friend's passing as they eat breakfast. But she overlooks him entirely and doesn't utter a word. The same day Emma's caregiver arrives at her house, and she notices at night that her caregiver was looking at her father's medication. When she was watching a movie with her caregiver, she says, I saw that you wanted to steal the medicine of my father. Then she commands, you must do as I command you. I will not say a single word about this to my father. The caretaker is enraged but later agrees. The following day, there was Milo's funeral service, during which everyone sobbed and Emma cried in front of Milo's parents. While conversing with him, Milo's parents inform Emma's father that Milo's medal is also missing. When he enters Emma's room to remove the dresses for laundry and finds Milo's medal there, he begins to have second thoughts about Emma. He sees pictures taken there where Emma was looking weirdly at Milo. On the following day, Emma's teacher and the investigator visit her at home. In her conversation with her father, she shares the information that some children had seen Milo and Emma on the cliff before he died. During the night, Emma's father questions Emma, asking if she and Milo had been to the cliff. She responds directly, I did not visit. He informs her, some people saw you with Milo on the cliff. She loses her cool and claims that Mrs. Ellis told you because she doesn't like me. The same caregiver is seen returning the following day to Emma's workplace, where she requests permission to smoke. Emma's father tells her, she can't smoke here because there are so many chemicals. The same caregiver takes Emma outside later so that they can play, and as they are leaving, they notice Mrs. Ellis' parked car outside the house. The caretaker informs her that a case has been brought against her and according to rumors, you were present when Milo passed away. The caretaker then leads Emma inside the home while attempting to scare her by saying, if you have committed this, you will be sitting on the criminal's electric chair. She still refuses to acknowledge that she did something wrong. The next day, a caretaker is seen searching the entire house for Emma. There was a wasp nest on Emma's roof, and a wasp disturbed Emma's teacher as she drove to her house. Then a wasp nest is discovered in her car's back seat, which Emma had put there. Also noticing the metal that belonged to Milo, Emma's caregiver hangs it on the lamp in her father's room. But when Emma comes to her father's room, she immediately hides that metal behind her. When Emma's father sees this behavior, he calls Emma over to sit next to him and inquires, where did you get this medal? Emma makes up the tale that Milo gave her this medal as a gift. The following morning, as Emma's father is driving to work, he makes a call to the therapist to arrange for her daughter to receive treatment. Then he notices that someone had an accident on the way. On the opposite side, Emma can be seen asking her caregiver, in an abrasive tone, you had hung this medal on the lamp. When her father arrives, he invites Emma to accompany him and commands her to take the medal she stole from Milo. Both lead to Milo's house, and Emma returns the medal to Milo's mother, who appears perplexed. While receiving this medal, she informs Emma's father that Mrs. Ellis has died in a car accident. When Emma learns this news, she acts as though she is crying while saying that she was her best teacher. When she was returning home with her father, she completely forgot about her teacher's death. She was telling her father that she would bake the cookies with her housekeeper once they moved in. However, he was shocked and concerned by her behavior. The following day, while Emma's father was at work, he noticed that the wasp nest that had previously been in his room had vanished. He now believed his daughter had something to do with Mrs. Ellis's passing. When the psychiatrist meets Emma, she informs her father that his daughter is just like any other young child because Emma had lured the psychiatrist into her conversation. Chloe, Emma's caretaker, says to Emma, I can also be your stepmother because your father has feelings for me. Incensed by this, Emma confronts her father and says, Chloe is saying to me as she wants to be my stepmother. 
his father walks out of the room without saying anything in response. Then, at night, while Chloe was watching TV, she hears a noise from the outbuilding. When she steps outside the house in search of Emma, she notices a shadow and immediately makes her way to an outbuilding. Then someone locks the door of the outbuilding. She was caught in there and the outbuilding was set on fire. Chloe peeks through the window where Emma was standing, revealing that Emma was the one who had started the fire in the outbuilding. She is killed by fire burns. Once Emma's father is aware of this, he calls the firemen. When they arrive, they put out the fire, but Chloe had already passed away. Following this incident, her father enters her room and inquires, were you the one who killed Milo? He says, my daughter, I will do everything in my power to save you, but you'll have to reveal the truth to me. Yes, I was the one who pushed Milo off the roof, Emma admits to his father. When Emma's father inquires about her former caregiver, she replies, yes, she had grabbed my hand aggressively, which is why I pushed her from the stairs. In the end, he inquires about Chloe, but she was furious and yelled, yes, she tried to become my stepmother, so I also killed her. Although he was aware of the full truth, Emma's father became overly upset. Emma promises her father that she won't behave in such a manner in the future, but her father was terrified. The officer contacts him the following day, and he replies, I want to meet Emma, but her father excuses that she has a fever. He was terrified that they might seize his daughter, so he had taken her to the lake house far away. The same day, the officer gets in touch with Emma's father once more and informs him that the building wasn't on fire by accident, rather, someone had intentionally set it ablaze. To protect himself, Emma's father had also stored a gun at his residence. He was considering using the gun at any moment to put a stop to the situation. Emma lights the stoves on every appliance in the home in the hopes that the gasoline will kill her father. After locking every door, she leaves the house on her own. At the same time, Emma's father opens his eyes after smelling the gasoline. He quickly opens all of the windows and doors and sees his daughter leave the house. At that point, he realized that his daughter had tried to kill him. He goes to his daughter and asks, why did you do this? In a fit of rage, she declares, if you pass away, I'll stay with my best aunt. She is escorted back into the house by her father in the most pleasant manner, and at night he gives her a drug in chocolate that will make her feel euphoric. The following scene depicts Emma firing a gun at her father while standing in front of him after having just retrieved one. However, this bullet is lodged in a pillow rather than striking her father. As soon as he awakens, her father remarks, how are you waking up so far? Emma claims that you infused the hallucinogenic substance into my chocolate, so I swapped it out for yours. Emma wanted to shoot her father with the gun, but he simultaneously snatches it away from her. She immediately dials 911, hides by entering a restroom, and reports that her father has threatened to kill her. Their guard also went there after hearing the gunshot. He sees her father standing there with his gun pointed at Emma, who is hiding in the restrooms. Guard wanted to save her, but in the meantime, Emma's father shoots himself in the head rather than murdering his daughter. Emma observes her father shooting himself in the face with a gun. As Emma is being carried by her aunt, Emma's aunt hugs her and says, your father had a mental disorder. He was saying, you have committed all those murders. The movie ends in the scene where it is stated that Emma's aunt used to have a strong belief in her. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.